All right, what is, uh, what's going on here? You got this here. And then this over here. What, what would you say about this? Any takers? Yeah, good. It's a scar here, right? Vertical vessels, parallel fibroblasts with collagen. Um, abnormal, it's not like total effacement of the reedy, but the reedy pattern's messed up and there's regenerative changes in the epidermis. And then next to it, we got something. So let's say this was maybe an atypical nevus or even a melanoma excision. Probably not a melanoma excision because it's so small. I don't know for sure. I don't know the story on this, but so this is next to it. So then what, what's going on here? Good. Very good. Yeah, it's golden, orangey brown, refractile. We can't really see refractile well on scanned images. I love digital slides for a lot of reasons, but one thing that I feel is lacking is you can't do the flipping of the condenser, which I find helpful to see the refractile um, kind of three-dimensional nature of things. So yeah, this is something that we rarely see in practice because the dermatologists we work with uh, don't use Moncell's and, and I think for good reason. So Moncell's is, uh, what is Moncell's solution? Anyone want to tell me, or you want to tell me, Amy? Good, because I always, I always forget it's if it's ferric, ferra, subsulfate, subsulfite. So I always get it confused. So I trust in in the derm residents to know. <laughs> yeah, it's an iron-based solution, right? And it's used for chemical hemostasis. Nowadays, most of the people I see in dermatology use aluminum chloride dry sol, uh, which you know. I don't know why people would still use Moncell's because Moncell's leaves this pigment and this iron-based pigment, and that pigment can be seen uh, on the skin surface. It can leave like a dark spot on your skin. So that's unsightly. Also, the problem is that microscopically, Moncell's leaves a lot of pigment and also generates a really brisk uh, fibrohistiocytic uh, host reaction. So that can be problematic if you've never seen this before, because especially on a melanoma excision, uh, you'll see that it's right next to the scar and there's pigment and there's spindle cells and there's going to be some mitoses because this is reactive um, myofibroblasts and histiocytes. And I have actually seen times where, you know, trainees who had never seen this before thought that this was maybe some spindle cell melanoma or something. Now, this case is not very atypical, but I have seen mon cells reaction before that was really brisk and robust spindly response and it looks quite different and uh, quite a bit more cellular than you would see say for aluminum chloride so um so yeah it's iron-based pigment that looks a lot like hemocytorin i i think it was will stain on an iron stain i'm pretty sure that it would um, i don't think i've ever done it actually but i would assume that it would stain on an iron stain i don't know why it wouldn't to me it looks quite like hemocytorin and so you're right the color is a little different from actual melanin so but if you were having trouble you could do an iron stain and then the um there's a you know histiocytes fibroblasts look we got a little elastic phagocytosis there which is just i think incidental um we see that around uh, healing biopsy sites sometimes in sun damaged people so that's mon cells reaction and the other side has even more so recognizing the scar is actually a really important clue and see so you can see the mon cells on both sides here of the scar and then over here in the middle i'm not so i'm not sure why it's not in the middle of the scar and it's only here i'm not I don't know why that happens, but but it's kind of nodular aggregates. So again, I rarely see this anymore. And I'm not sure if, if someone's watching this on YouTube and you've got a good reason why Moncell's is better than aluminum chloride. I'd love to hear it because I've never heard any rational reason, except that uh, the people I've seen use Moncell's are like, you know, we tend to be a little bit older. So I wondered if it was just a, that in the past, maybe aluminum chloride wasn't as available or people didn't know about it. I don't know. So I thought, I assumed that maybe it was just variations of training or generational differences. Um, so hopefully that doesn't offend anyone, but, and there you go, Moncell's reaction. Uh, I have not seen this for several years, actually, uh, uh, that I can recall. 